Hey, Wednesday morning and it's gonna be a hot one. It's gonna be a great day. So, we're gonna smash it this morning and then get out, do my run, get on with all the other stuff I've gotta to do today, but it's about enjoying this first. And that damn Mario, damn Mario coming in here, pretending he's as fit as me. Yeah, well, we're gonna prove it. We're gonna do some stuff today. We're gonna to talk about how we can actually test who is the fittest, me or Mario. Yeah, Mario did extremely well. He's done some great videos. He's done a great job, but I'm coming here pretending he's fitter than me. So, we'll talk about how well we can work out who's the fittest. Maybe look at who's the fittest, actually, because we both pretty much collapsed on the floor. I saw him doing it the other day. Worked hard, but I'm the man. Yeah, Captain America is the man. So, first of all, Cornwall School Games. If you haven't signed up for today's events, I believe it's hip hop and dance and stuff like that. And then we've got some tennis and volleyball over the next couple of days. Um, marking up the miles, so if you're doing that, keep it going. Yeah, if you're doing your 15 minute run, that's taking up your miles anyway, so you can do that for Cornwall School Games. Check it out, get on the website, you can sign everything up. I don't need to teach you how to suck eggs, you just get on there, do what you can, okay? So, make sure you've got your glass of water today. Really important we stay hydrated. If you've not joined us before, someone asked me, what did I have my shopping bags for the other day? They're just my weights, okay? So I now have got hold of some weights, but if you haven't got any weights, shopping bags have loads of weight in it, we can use all of those. Excellent, so, um, who is the fittest? Let's talk about this whilst we work. So, let's get going. So, just marching on the spot. You can see that Summer is here, I've got my shorts on. Step into the left, whichever that was. Okay, we're just gonna get moving. Just try and copy me. Yeah, this side, just our little pulse raiser. Get our heart pumping a little bit quicker. Help deliver all that oxygen, a bit of the carbon dioxide, and be ready for work. Okay, feet forwards. Arms to the side. Arms in spot, top side. So, RPE. Stepping back. RPE. Rate of perceived exertion. Good. So, how hard? We perceive we're actually working. So, only I can do my RPE, but then it's correlated to our uh, heart rate. So, at the moment, I'm working fairly easy. Heart's going a little bit. Okay, and as I just start to move, my RPE will go up. So, this morning when I got out of bed, six, as low as I can be. Okay, right now, starting to move. Okay, just get those arms moving a little bit more. So, maybe up to about an eight now, even a nine. Okay, so my heart rate is probably about 9, 90, 100. Okay, a few little curls. Keep walking on the spot. Lateral raises. The harder I work, the harder I will perceive I'm working as well. So I will perceive, as in I feel, how hard I'm working. 20, absolute exhaustion. Yeah, maybe just about reached that the other day when I collapsed on the floor. Okay, so. Feet to the side, but a little bit quicker. To the front. So my RPE, how hard are we working? And yeah, we should be over 15. So our heart rate is over 150 feet per minute, working high in our aerobic training zone. Talked about this the other day. If you missed it, go back a couple of parts, check it out. Okay, two little spotty dogs. A few little star jumps, a few little knees to elbows. Good, starting to feel me warming up. Okay, that's the exothermic reaction of our bonds breaking. A few little slow knees to elbows, oh sorry, I'll turn leg kicks. Okay, jogging on the spot. We're gonna go for a sprint in three. Two, one, go. Pump those arms. Get those knees hot. And rest. Shake it out. Shake out your legs. Shake out your arms. Okay, let's start with our stretches of our delta. So these big muscles at the top. So, my RPE, how hard are we working? We should be at 15 at least during this exercise today. And if you're not, you've got to start working harder. You've got to put the effort in to increase the intensity to make it worth your while, okay? We've got to progressively overload our bodies, otherwise it's not worth doing. Reversibility occurs, yeah, adaptations don't. So, triceps, neatly down your back, 
Keep your legs moving. Another one. Shake it up. Shake it up. Big arm hug. Stretch your back. Arms behind. Can you believe it? I had a message. I had a message saying that Mario is fitter than me. I cannot believe that people think that Mario is fitter than me. Okay, shake out your arms. Let's do our legs. So, quads work antagonistically with my hamstrings. So, someone's thinking that Mario is fitter than me. They heard that Mario can run further for longer. So they figured he was fitter than me. But I, we, Mario even told you that I can go to the gym and I can lift more weights here. Also, 100 meters, I'd smash him. Absolutely smash, Mario. Little twiddle, innit? You know, I can use all my power in my legs, got these big muscles. Okay, so I'm going to beat him in the power. So, already starting to talk about our components of fitness. So today we're going to look at our components of fitness. There's 11 of them. Okay, and then we're going to work out how we can maybe see who's the fittest, who's the best at them. So, shaking out your legs. Hamstrings. Push your bottom out. So to find out who's the fittest, what are we going to do? What can we do to find out who is the best at something? Yeah, good. So we can have some races, I heard someone say. Yeah, so we can have some races. Certainly like 100 metres, we can see who's the fastest over that time, can we? So we then know who's the fastest over that distance. 200, 400. There are athletics events, 100, 200, 400, 800. When we get to 1500, we're certainly working aerobically, so it's a little sort of race. So me, 1500 metres, ah, 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 I do not like the 1500 metres. Give me 100 metres, 200 metres, boom, yeah. Get that sprint. Yeah, Mario, however, yeah, he might be able to tip along with that 1500, 5000, stuff like that. So, calves, just bring your toes up towards you. Can't quite see mine, sorry. Just my toes being pulled up towards me, feeling the stretch of my calf. So, we have 11 components of fitness. We can test most of them. So instead of instead of just racing, we're going to actually test it. So we've got some specific tests for our different components of fitness. Our tests need to be valid. They need to be reliable, and we need to have some practical sort of practicality of the tests. Okay, that means like, how practical is it actually to do, and we'll talk about that as we do. So shake out your legs, shake out your arms, big circles forwards and backwards. Hands on your hips, just circles. Unless you want to write school is cool with your hips. Sure is, isn't it? School is cool. I am missing it. Yeah, I know some of you that are as well. As much as you lot moan about school half the time, yeah, actually, lots of you are missing it. And I'll tell you what, I had some amazing results from the quiz last week. Jody, Anna, loving it! Jody, 100%. What a star. Okay, great star. So, shopping bags. Funky chicken. Grow that tree. Let those arms just flow in the wind. Feel a little bit of stretch in your shoulders. Reaching right forward as we're getting blown. And back to the side. Or oh, maybe big circles. Can you do your big circles? Go the other way. So we're feeling the whole stretch. Shake it out. Okay, we've got to mobilise our ankles, don't we? So point down, up. Down, up, in, out, in, out, shake it all about. Other one, down, up, down, up, in, out, in, out, shake it all about. Shake out your legs, shake out your arms, shake out your whole body. Okay, just step it across. Loving that I've also had some messages about people doing the cool school games. People have signed up, done stuff, did the uh, old turn up bounce over an uh, object yesterday. I did think we could stick that in our routine, but so today's routine, exactly the same. Exactly the same as I did on Friday, exactly the same as Mario did, although we did some bullies coming in there yesterday and some. Uh, he lost it, he lost it, Mario did. I'm just gonna smash exactly what we're supposed to. Some of you might say, well, why are we doing exactly the same again? Just shake up, shake up, shake up. Grab that drink of water. Right? Well, it's like anything else, if we do exactly the same over and over and over again, we will get better. Uh, if you do your maths over and over again, you will get better. Practice, practice, practice. Practice makes perfect, almost. Practice with feedback makes perfect. So, if we practice stuff, someone gives us a bit of feedback, tells us how to improve it. We'll get better and better and better. No point in doing the same thing wrong. Okay, but we're doing this right. 
Okay, last little bit, so just shake it up, shake it up. Alternate curls. Do little lateral raises. Bend over lifts. A few squats. A few lunges. A step out, hand back. Okay, with a lunge, actually, we're just going to hold it there and twist. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Feel the stretch in your quads. Step back, so you step forward and twist. Feel it in that back leg. Okay, I wanted to ask you to do these a few weeks ago because our balance wasn't enough, but now we've built up our balance, one of our skill related components, we can smash it. So, we're going to look at our 11 components and then we'll talk about which ones we can test whilst we're working. Yeah, I'll show you who's fittest. I'll do all of this and chat to you, get everything done. Okay, so. We're going to do 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, smash it out. So, my timer is ready. My space is fairly ready, as Mr. Bridger would say. Check out his fitness ones as well. Okay, make sure things are safe as well. So, someone asked me about wearing bare feet. Um, I've worn bare feet on my carpet. Maybe if I had a harder floor, I might put the trainers on. If you've got weak ankles, maybe you want to put trainers on. Just gives you a little bit of support. Um, you need to look after yourselves a little bit. Uh, I can't do everything for you. So, we're going to smash it, make sure there's nothing around you that you might hit yourself on. My weights are all along here, so they're all out the way. Excellent, so, first one is knees to elbows, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, good luck. Ready, set. What did I say, knees to elbows? Ready, let's go. So, components of fitness, we have 11. Six in one group. Five in the other. Can anyone remember the groups? This has been on your quiz last couple of weeks. So physical fitness, good. And skill related fitness. They are our two groups that we can sort of pop them into. The physical ones, we can see a little bit more. Then physically see them. Down into our sit-ups. Ready? Let's go. So physical fitness, like body composition is part of our physical fitness. Body composition is what we look like, so how we're made up, how much fat I have compared with the bones and the muscles I have. If I can physically see that, so that fits in my physical fitness, that's the B of physical fitness. Body composition, we can change that okay, by doing our exercises. We can also measure it. Okay, into star jumps, let's go. So, physical fitness components, let's go through them. Anyone, tell me one. Good. Any others? Yep. Yep. A couple more. Very good. Some of you know them all. Yep, if you're BTEC students, year 10, you need to know them all. You have to know them all for your exam. Learn them. Okay. Good stuff. Press ups. Ready? Do one you need if you need to. Let's go. Need ones? I'll make sure I do my 25 for PTSD today. I haven't seen, uh, I haven't actually seen Ben Taylor's online recently. I'll tell you who's doing some great ones. Andrew Lee, Bino. Yeah, hilarious, brilliant man. Keep it going. Okay, shake it out very quick. So, so we've done our first two minutes. Jogging on the spot. Just jogging. Okay, we're gonna go for our sprint. Hands come higher, my knees come higher. Ready, set, go. Get your knees up, bounce on your toes, pop your arms. Hands go hip to shoulder. My arms dictate how fast I run. Okay, so this is all about my speed. Speed, another physical fitness. Physical component of fitness, we have speed. The right we can do it, we've mentioned so far. Shake it out. Okay, squats. Ready, we're gonna do power squats. Jump. And as this suggests, I have my power. Power, just to confuse us, creates enough skill related fitness. But it's a combination of speed and strength. So we just mentioned speed, we have another S, strength. Strength, all about the maximum amount of force that we can exert. The muscles. And then come strong and lift heavier weights. Okay, shake out that. 
Good stuff. Quick for a drink of water. And some jabs. Ready? Let's go. So, first one we mentioned, aerobic endurance. What's the other endurance type thing we do? Good, muscular endurance. Endurance, all about what? Working for a good, a long time. Keep it going. Keep it going. Five more seconds. Well done. Back into our back raises. So, just lying down, bring those arms up. We're just going to do this isometrically as we're not going to move. Just hold it. Feel the muscles in your back. And then we use these for our surfing. Okay, and this is muscular endurance. Working our heart our muscles for a long period of time. Get a little bit higher if you can. A little bit higher. Don't use your hands on, just trying to see what the time is. A couple more seconds. Good stuff. So, some muscular endurance. We've done some aerobic endurance. We've done power squats. Uh, I'll turn up leg kicks. Ready? Let's go. Start to feel this now. Working hard. My aerobic endurance is needed. So we're working our heart and lungs, testing my VO2 max. Maximum amount of oxygen and my body can utilize as in use. How much can it use of what it's given? Well done. So aerobic endurance, we'll do a VO2 max. Uh, plank. Ready? We're doing fast. Speed, with a bit of strength, makes our power, power, skill related, speed and strength, physical fitness. Well done. Shake it up. Spotty dogs. So another aerobic endurance exercise. Ready? Right, this leg forward, this arm forward. Let's go. So, we have aerobic endurance, muscular endurance, speed, strength, body composition, and one more that makes our physical fitness. It's that last one, begin to death. Come on, Max, what is it? Good stuff, flexibility. Right, my shorts falling down. Flexibility, having a good range of movement. Can I get my arms all around? So then my six. Have a drink. Shake it out. I'm gonna grab some heavy weights. We're gonna do some curls. So, ready? Let's go. I've gone fairly heavy. So it's starting to think more strength than muscular endurance. Because I couldn't do this for very long, but they will tear more muscle fibers, so they will grow back bigger and stronger. So when you become stronger, you can lift more heavy weights, and your muscular endurance improves, so you can work your muscles for a longer period of time, like for the whole basketball match, for the whole football match, for the whole of the netball match. Not knackered after two minutes. A couple more. Well done. Put them down, back to our star jumps. Let's go. So, aerobic endurance, muscular endurance, speed strength, body composition and flexibility. They're my physical components of fitness. All the others, skill related. So the others, I remember, A, B, C, P, R. A, B, C, P, R. That's how I remember them. So, what are they? A, B, C, they're the first letters of them, and P, R. That's two. Good stuff. Wall we'll sit. Grab your book or listen to me. Give a chant. So, A, B, C, P, R. A. Changing direction really fast. Here's agility, good. Not falling over when I'm walking, when I'm doing the surfing, when I'm doing handstands. B, balance, good. Uh, being able to use two body parts at the same time. So when I'm playing tennis, I'm running along to get, that, get to the ball, but I'm also using my arms at the same time, so I'm using two body parts. So I have to have good, beginning with C. Coordination, excellent. P, we've already mentioned. 
We did some squats like it. We did some power squats. Good, that's a combination of speed and strength. Just keep those legs, hold it. If you're falling on the floor, no worries, keep listening. Okay, so power. And the last one, R. Whoa, there's that ball again. It came flying at me the other day. Reaction time. How quickly I can react to a stimulus. Okay, hand up there. Whoa. Check those legs out. That was good. That was a whole minute. Well done if you did that whole time. So, uh, back to our knees to our elbows. So, more aerobic endurance. So, we've mentioned all 11 components of fitness. Aerobic endurance, muscular endurance, speed, strength, body composition, flexibility. They're more physical ones. Okay, they're more skill related. Agility, balance, coordination, power and reaction time. The uh, physical ones, we can test them all. We can find out how good we are them. The others, the skill we're in, we test some of them. They can all be tested, but we don't need to know how for our VTEC. So I don't want to confuse everyone. So we'll talk about the ones we need to know, and then you might be, another time I'll tell you the ones that are nice to know. Need to know, because they're in your exam. Last two. Excellent. Bent over rows, so. Get some weight to your bags. Push your bottom out, shoulder width apart. Knee shoulder width apart. Just lift. Think about your breathing whilst you're doing this. Oxygen coming in. Carbon dioxide going out. Helping us work aerobically. However, at the moment, a lot of anaerobic respiration going on, so I'm making lactic acid. Don't like it, I want to get rid of it. Makes me feel sick. A couple more. Three, two, one. Excellent, mountain climbers. So, let's go. This is an aerobic endurance exercise. How can I find out who is better at aerobic endurance, me or Mario? Me and Mario, better aerobic endurance. So we have to work our heart and lungs, utilize the oxygen that's available, test my VO2 max, the maximum oxygen I can use. How can we do that? So, okay, let's see if we can do the most mountain climbers. Yeah, maybe. What we all done, most of us in school have done this. Two more, one more. Get yeah, shaken up. Shake it up, have a glass of water. So what do we do in school? Lots of you don't like it. I sort of love it, sort of hate it. Mr. Irons quite often joins in. Ah, just he wants to know how fit he is. What's his aerobic endurance like? Has it got better? Has it got worse? And this is a good test because it gives us a specific level. So, what is it? But, grab your weight. I'm going to do some shoulder press whilst you're thinking. Ready? Let's go. Excellent. Someone just shot a bleep test. A bleep or beep beeps every time we get to the line so over 20 meters we jog down hit the line before the beep turn and go again every level gets a little bit quicker so that's our bleep test or multi-stage fitness test as there's multiple stages fitness test two more good stuff okay bleep test or multi-stage fitness test great test progressively gets harder okay so it's progressive and maximal. So it progressively gets harder and we work to our max. So at the end, actually, we do work a little bit anaerobically. Not fantastic if we went to be testing our aerobic, but it's a really good test because we get a certain level at the end of it. So some lunges. So our bleep test. Don't need much equipment. Yeah, but could I do it in this room? No, of course I couldn't. I haven't got 20 meters. So practically, for the practicality of the bleep test, one of the problems is you need a big space. Okay, however, if you've got a big space, loads of you can do it. I normally use the app on the uh, computer. Okay, you can find it on YouTube, the actual test. Okay, so quite easy. It's a valid test. There's lots of normative data, lots of data that we compare with other people, other schools. So you can see if your mate goes to pool school, we can compare our result with them. Going through both to over 20 meters, we're using the right test. So, valid and reliable. Good stuff. Back to our toilet legs. So, we could also use another test that I know most of my year nines did, or year tens have done, so I'm going really slow. So, five minute step up test. It's okay, so we just step up and down for five minutes at a set pace. 
120 beats per minute. Then at the end of it, we take our heart rate and how quickly we recover. It's a good indicator of our aerobic endurance. Aerobic endurance is all about how well we use the oxygen to test our VO2 max. Last couple. Oh, it's hard work. I swear I was struggling the other day, but I must admit we've had a couple of breaks, grabbing some water whilst I'm talking. Okay, grab some water. Grab some weight, heavy-ish, and some calf raises. Yeah, ready, let's go. So, muscular endurance. How can we test that? In fact, we've done this, haven't we? We did the test for these. The muscular endurance, how many press-ups? Just hold it for a second at the top, at the bottom. So how many press-ups, how many sit-ups can we do in one minute? Simple, one minute press-up test, one minute press-up sit -up test. Really easy, okay? Someone's just got to count, so maybe a bit of human error. But apart from that, fairly easy, and as long as we weren't too cheap using the wrong technique. But otherwise, just how many we can do. Two more lifts. Because a minute in sport is quite a long time, so we call that muscular endurance. So how many press ups and how many sit ups can we do in a minute? Obviously, two separate minutes. Give yourself a rest in between, like we did when we tested ourselves. Have a Okay, grab your skip and rope. Let's skip. So, uh, what was next? Speed. How can we test our speed? 100 metres, easy, yeah? There we go. Well, maybe not though. Probably not 100 metres. What happens after about 50 metres? Certainly for Mr. Ryan's, I've seen him. After about 50, he starts to yeah, slow down. It's getting old. So 50, 100 metres is too far to test our pure speed. So we're just doing 35 metres. And it's just a case of take your marks, set, go. And time over 35 metres. The only trouble is, sometimes when we time in, could be human error, pressing start and stop, can we? So maybe a fraction out if we don't do it quite right. One foot, other foot, one foot, other foot, one foot, other foot. Okay, setups. Let's go. Go do it to the side. So, uh, strength. How can we test our strength? Yeah, we could go to the gym and lift the heaviest weights. Could do. Uh, Try something a bit more accurate. Okay, so we use a grip strength dynamometer. A grip strength dynamometer. Then we hold it above our head, pull down to the side, and give us a reading in kilograms or newtons. Okay, very accurate. Unfortunately, though, very expensive. A couple more sit-ups. Well done. Star jumps. Let's go. So, strength, we use our grip strength dynamometer here. And also, it really tests so our forearms and our grip strength, like it suggests, so it doesn't really test my leg strength at all. So, strength, body composition, we can do this a few ways. We have BIA, B, I, and A, bioelectrical impedance analysis. Okay, that's, use a little electrode on my right ankle, my right leg, and my right wrist. Sends a current through me because fat and muscle have different, uh, have different properties. The electricity goes through this one, so the resistance is different. So we can measure how much fat, how much muscle we have. Doing our BIA. Very expensive, but again, very accurate. Okay, press ups. Ready? Another way of testing our body composition is. BMI, BMI, you might have heard this when you go to the doctors. It's our body mass index. Good stuff, shake out your arms, shake your legs. So, body mass index, what they do is you take your weight and your height, they do a little equation. So it's, remember this WH Smiths, W, weight, over, so divided by height for the H, and then Smiths is squared. So. Weight over height squared, have to remember WH Smiths, so my weight in kilograms divided by my height in metres. Ah, we need to square that first. So 
something like 1.73 meters, times 1.73, okay, and then I put my weight over the top of that. Work out my BMI. However, athletes, yeah, they carry a lot of muscle, not grateful. Good stuff. Shake out your arms, shake out your legs. The other way we can test our body composition is the Jackson Pollock skin fold test, where we take little skin folds to see how much fat is underneath, our subcutaneous fat. For men, we do our chest, my abs, and my thighs. And for ladies, we don't do the chest because it's a little bit invasive. So we do their triceps, the super iliac, which is near their abs, and we do their thighs. So men, chest, abs, thighs. For ladies, triceps, super iliac, and the thighs. That's our uh, Jackson Pollock skin fold test. We use some calipers and they sort of pinch our skin, see how much is underneath. Good. Uh, and flexibility, we'll just do a little bit now. So for flexibility, just need to reach down towards your toes. Check out your legs. Reach down a little bit further. Okay, we can just reach a little bit further, can't we? Just that flexibility is improving because they're nice and warm. So to test our flexibility, we use sit and reach. There's a special box that's got centimeters on the top. You push a little object on the top, keep it out, fingers touching it, and see how far we can reach. So some of you might have tried that, so that's our sit and reach test. Really good, fairly easy. Okay, but we've got to keep our legs flat on the floor. And it does only test the flexibility of our like, sort of around our hips and our lower back. Not much good for us tennis players who want to be able to get our arms back in. So, then my physical fitness components and how we test them all. Right, ready? We're going to go with some knees to elbows. Let's go. Okay, so our skill related we have agility, balance, coordination, power, and reaction time. We only need to know how we test two of those. That's agility. Then we do that using the Come on guys, we've done this, what's it called? Begin to die. Good stuff, Illinois. The guy from Illinois discovered it, or made it up. Need eight cones. Shake out your arms, shake out your legs. You run up, zigzag in and out some cones, zigzag back again. And I'll show you properly one day when we're back in school. So remember our Illinois agility test. And for power, we do a vertical jump. So we mark, see how high on the wall we can reach. And then we jump and we measure the distance, the difference between it. However, if I was, 100 kg and someone was 50 kg, got to take that into account as well. So, power, vertical jump test. Good stuff. So, uh, we're gonna do some jumps. Ready? Let's go. So, very quick. Aerobic endurance, we can test using our multi stage fitness test, our bleep test. Good. Or our five minute step up test. Muscular endurance, one minute. Press ups and sit up test, good. Speed, 35 meter sprint. Strength, grip strength, dynamometer. Hold it above our head, pull down the side, measure it in kilograms and newtons. Shake out our arms, shake out our legs. Just gonna do a few more sit ups. Gonna come right up this time, come right up. Touch your toes, reach and touch your toes. This will help when we retest our sit up for it because they're training specifically for sit ups. So, uh, Strength, our grip strength, body composition, BMI, body mass index, BIA, bioelectrical impediments analysis, that's the expensive electrical one, okay. Jackson Pollock skin fold test, okay. that tests our body composition, flexibility, do our sit and reach test, agility, we our Illinois agility test, okay. and our power, we can test doing our vertical jump test. Right, a few press ups, then we're going to start to cool down in a second. So, how many can you do? Just keep going, keep going. So, balance, coordination, and reaction time. We can test, but we don't need to for VTEC. Reaction time, I know you do it in science, it would really drop. Don't need to know that for VTEC. Two more. Good stuff. Shake out your arms, shake out your legs. Okay, just step into the side. Okay, shake out your arms. That was brilliant. I'm not off big time. We've just done 22 and a half minutes. Okay, maybe we had a little bit of chat, so the intensity dropped when we were talking. Okay, certainly I had to work a little bit less. Couldn't work so intensely because I was trying to chat to you at the same time. But, what a great workout. We did all 30. I feel fitter than I did last Friday. Okay, Captain America feels fitter than he did last Friday. Beat Mario. I know what that happened though. He's going to turn up, isn't he? He's going to turn up and try and do it again. You watch out for him, maybe tomorrow or Friday. I bet he turns up. Um, again, a bit of competition with me. Why is it good competition? Good to have some competition with your mates. 
What does it do? What does it make us? Good, motivates me. I'm like, come on, Mario ain't better than me. And he'll be thinking exactly the same. You lot thinking I'm mad. Maybe I am. Okay, but who's the fittest? We can now test to see who's the fittest. We can test most of our components of fitness for our BTEC. And like I say, you can actually test the others, but we don't need to for BTEC. So, just back on the spot. March. Feet to the front. Little lean back. Hands going. Get those arms up. Feet to the side. Still arms going. A little bit quicker, so like a pendulum. Okay, little jabs whilst you're doing it. What's your coordination like? No, we're knackered. Okay, so we're really tired now. Can we coordinate what we really want to do? Would you still be functioning halfway through the first half or are you knackered? Shake out your arms, shake out your legs. Okay, we're just going to stretch out our quads. So after, the developmental stretch is a little bit longer. So, so 15 to 20 seconds. Swap over. Okay, so during that, because I was trying to chat to you lot, I to bring the intensity down a little bit. So I wasn't 19, 20, even 18. I was probably 15, 16, 17, depending on the type of exercise. Certainly when I was doing my wall sit, it comes down a little bit. My legs are hurting hard, working hard, but my rest of my body gets a bit of a rest. My back raises, again, my RPE, my rating of perceived exertion, will drop down. Shake out your legs. Hamstrings. So, Borg. A guy called Borg came up with the RPE. It correlates to our heart rate. But what I really want you to think about today is our 11 components of fitness. Our six physical and our five skill related. And which ones we can test. And could you name the tests? Do you know the tests? Good stuff. So, guess what the quiz is all on? Everything I've just talked about today. So, before you do the quiz, make sure you've done this. You won't know that until you've done this. I will tell you on show my homework. Yeah? Maybe you don't do very well on the quiz. Watch this again. You just sit and watch it. It's like an amazing box set, isn't it? You can watch it right from part one all the way through. Sit down with the olds and uh, watch some of the best move, best TV you've ever seen. So just step. And clap. High claps. Feel the stretch. Low claps. Try and copy me. Other way. Go reach so you feel the stretch. Good stuff. Shake out the arms, shake out the legs. Okay, back in our press up position. One arm, right pass. Okay, helping improve our balance. We're stretching out our biceps and our pecs. Do it on your knees if you need to. So, aerobic endurance. Test our VO2 max. Maximum amount of oxygen we can utilize. And we can do that through our bleak test, our multi stage fitness test. Think about the positives and negatives of it. Uh, couldn't do it here. Not enough space. There, yeah, but we have big sports hall, loads of us can do it. Shake it up. Okay, down on our knees. Hands over front, nice and low to the floor. Into our cobra. Head up, hold it there. Muscular endurance, press ups and sit up test. So we just do it for a minute. Okay, do we need any equipment? Not really, so fairly easy to do. Okay, but if you do the wrong technique or some Plunkers on the uh, counting and they count it wrong, could be wrong, so that's a bit of human error. Sit back on your, on your feet, keep your arms up nice and straight. Grip strength dynamometer, very accurate, but very expensive. 270 quid when we have in school. Speed, don't do over 100 metres because we start to tire, we start to slow down, even bolt. Actually, that's a good bolt, so it's only 70, but most of us, shake it out, shake it out. Most of us slowing down after 70 metres, so we don't want to be tested when we're slowing down. We want to just test our pure speed. And in fact, maybe a rolling start would be better, but we do a standing start, 35 minutes, metres, sorry, and just take the time. Uh, body composition, BIA, BMI, Jackson Pollock, okay? 
WH Smith's weight over height squared for my body composition to work out my, uh, sorry, my BMI. I use W over height squared. Excellent. So, and flexibility, sit and reach. Shake out those arms. A few little shopping bags. Alternate shopping bags. Back to normal shopping bags. Still marching. Pumpy chickens. Yeah, and flexibility is our sit and reach, and that's measured in centimetres. Then our, fit, our skill related fitness is our agility. That's our Illinois agility run. Grow that tree. Just stretch it out. Hold one, hold, 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 hold. Carry on. Ready? Hold one. Stretch. Add some extension and tension to this. Up on your toes, however you are, just on your toes and arms as wide as you can. Hold above your head, as you can. Down over to one side. So agility is our little agility test. We need eight cones, eight cones we need to do that. Yeah, and we set them up. Yeah, set them up, we run down. And we can compare all this data with other schools. Because there's lots of normative data. That means that there's other people have done it, we've listed everything. So my mate at Paul, I can see I did 15 seconds on the agility run. They've done exactly the same Illinois agility run. We can compare it. So, uh, what was the other one? Power. Power, simply marking how high we can reach, and then we jump, then we jump, yeah. Maybe I jump 50 centimetres. That's not how powerful I am. Depends on how heavy I am as well. So me and Mario, I am, I'm heavier than Mario, Mario, so I carry a lot of muscle. So when I jump, I wonder if I jump as high. If I jump as high as someone that's lighter than me, who's more powerful? If I jump higher than someone that is lighter than me, who is more powerful, me or them? So I jump higher than someone lighter than me. Yeah, me, good. So even if I jump the same height as someone, the, the, the same weight as me, someone that's lighter than me, if I can jump the same height, my legs must be more powerful. Fantastic for testing the power in my legs, but not so good for the power in my arms. And I've got the power, yeah? I'm Captain America. Okay, last little bit of shopping bags. Last little bit of funky chicken. Grow that tree. Shopping bags. Funky chicken. Keep those feet moving, grow that tree. Okay, just step in. Step in across. Just hold that little step and just feel a stretch. Check it out. Tell you what I did learn the other day. Ah, oh, I got it wrong, didn't I? Someone else, you can teach me. What's it called again? What's that song? Let me do your hands out. I think I forgot my head. And then something like uh, Macarena, that's the one. I'm gonna try and learn it. So maybe we'll do it as our warm-up or our cool down next time. Shake out your arms. Check out your legs. I reckon Beth or Aaron or Daisy or Lola, maybe they could teach me, help me out. Or maybe the people I see in school, um, not that I'm in school ever, Captain America don't go to school. Uh, but my friend, Mr. Ryan, he occasionally pops in. Like I said, I bet Mario turns up again. Remember, sign up for Cornwall School Games. If you're not sure about these components of fitness, have a little look. So 11 components of fitness, aerobic endurance, muscular endurance, speed, strength, uh, body composition, flexibility, and then our skill related, we have our uh, agility, balance, coordination, and our power and reaction time, ABCPR. Okay, I know other people have other ways. Remember the AAMSS and uh, the BF. Okay. Uh, Whatever way you remember it, fantastic. Okay, the RPE, so our rate of perceived exertion. Hopefully, we're working at sort of 15, 16 today. If you weren't, only you can change that. If you want something you've never had before, you've got to do stuff you've never done before. And you've got to push that body harder than it's ever wanted to go. It doesn't like going hard, yeah? My body doesn't enjoy this, okay? Don't enjoy doing this, but I want to trim up, yeah? I want to be able to walk down the beach without sucking my belly in, okay? I want to feel fitter. I want my heart and lungs to last a bit longer. Now, at my age, I've got to look after myself. I like to marry at 20, but, you know, I'm a bit, a bit older. I know I was frozen for a few years, but I am a little bit older, so I've got to look after my body. I can develop my heart, develop my lungs by doing all this sort of exercise, it means that I find everything else around me a little bit easier. It improves my everyday life. 
We're going to do about the adaptations, we're going to do about the effects of exercise, long term effects. So what's happened to my body over the last six weeks? Why am I finding it easier now than I was six weeks ago? So, thank you very much for listening, thank you very much for watching. I know it's been 45 minutes, wasted your whole life, clearly not. Yeah? The most important thing you can do, right? you can do all your maths and your English and your science and your stuff like that. Not much good if you're not very well. So, please look after your health, stay active, do stuff like this. Yeah, make sure you've got a sweat on, make sure your RP is high, make sure that heart rate is increased, otherwise there is no point. Walking the dog, fantastic, yeah, it's nice to get out and get some fresh air, but it's not really physically pushing you. We've got to have some progressive overload, we've got to work hard, we've got to push it. So, last little bit, let's go! You don't have to join in, you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but if you don't think you can keep up with Captain America, yeah, well, up to you. This is what it's all about. Do you push yourself even when you're knackered? Do you push yourself even when you don't want to? Are you the sort of person that keeps getting up, keeps doing stuff, even though the world keeps knocking you back? Be resilient. Okay, let's do some star jumps. Let's really push it. Last two minutes. So this is my aerobic endurance, my VO2 max. How much oxygen does my body use? Is it better at using it than yours? Are you better than me? What would happen if we ran the bleed test? Good thing about the bleed test is that anyone can at least do level one. Five minute step up test. Some people can't even step for five minutes if they're really unfit. Shake out the arms. Let's dance. Like I said the other day, dance like no one's watching. Who cares? Life's too short, young people. Young people, these awesome people, yeah? Enjoy life. People will be horrible to you. People will say stuff to you. But it's like this. Do we just get up and carry on, yeah? Okay, you know what? I'm Captain America. I don't care what people say about me. Yeah, I'm Mario. I'm not. My mate's Mario, yeah? He got out, he went running. We go running like this. People laughed. Doesn't matter. Do it for yourself. Do it for you. Be awesome. Be amazing. If you've been doing all these workouts with me, even if you've only done a few of them, you're amazing, okay? Because they're getting you fitter, you healthier. All the benefits are for you. Just you, no one else. Well, actually, maybe I suppose if I'm fitter and stronger, it means I can still go and play football with my nephew, yeah? Some people my age can't play football with their nephews. They're, they're kids. They're too old, too knackered, even though they're the same age as me. But uh, look after yourselves, get active, do some Cornwall School games. Um, remember all the components of fitness. Get on with the quiz on Friday. So you watch this one, and then the quiz is on Friday. Okay, take it easy. Cheers, dudes. Bye.